Hello. I recently opened my business name under Hubby's Hobbies, so I changed my channel title. Now, you guys asked questions about the Orator Master 2. Alright. There's my homing switch. Alright. That I added a uh, 9 16 piece of uh, wood, one quarter thick, one and one half inches wide. There's my K Star. 6 amp and you can see the polarity up over in the right hand corner is positive for the center and negative for the outside <clears throat> as for the laser setup the circuit you will notice that it says Niji laser that's for your four wire input off of your laser that controls the variable speed of your fan the fan blows and cools the laser plus it blows your area clean and prevents dust from hitting the laser there is your three piece input red first black and then white now that's your input now let's see if I can get a better focus on that input there anyhow there there's your input see that's the one you're going to use and that comes back here and goes to your Niji or excuse me to your or to your master 2 alright now this is the clock that I burned this morning which I can get a better image of it if I move the laser give me just a minute and we will move the laser up over here out of the way and anyhow this is the clock I did this morning this is approximately 11 layers or yeah, 11 layers. Now, I guess what you guys wanted to know is is it worth buying the Niji 30 watt laser? Well, in three passes, I can cut through that one quarter inch wood at a speed of 10 and 100% laser. So, well, I'm going to attempt to show you that. Let's see. There's my frame, okay, and then I'm going to do a three pass cut. Now you'll notice as it passes through the wood, you can see the depth, alright? You see how deep it's cutting? Now I have the laser focused five millimeters below the surface of this, alright? So long story short three to five millimeters below the surface you're cutting is what you're gonna is what you're gonna set it for between three and five millimeters if you'll look at the black dot down there just in front of the clock you'll notice that's where I focus the laser that's five millimeters deep okay now there is the third pass and you'll notice the dot is at the bottom of the board underneath it I'll put, I'll put a filter on this thing later to uh, cut down on the blue glare from the laser I have one ordered you'll notice that the piece piece fell clean off see look no problem cuts clean through three passes and probably actually probably could have done it in two but I did it in three just to be on the safe side to make sure it cut all the way through so so you guys could tell what I did okay uh, like I said and uh, the laser itself as far as the adjustment for your height 
your height is adjusted with an Allen wrench, which I'm not really happy with that, but that'll do until I 3D print a, an adjustable height for this thing. See, you can adjust the height right there. All right, uh, it's not hard to do. It's a little time consuming and once you get it set for the work that you're doing, like I've been working on clocks, so basically uh, I leave it set at the same place all the time. I readjusted it just now, a little while ago, just to make that cut to show you what it does. Okay? And uh, there's another shot, just to make sure you guys got a good shot of it. The laser plugs in over here at the four plug to your left, and it'll say Niji input. And then, let's see, there you go. Arx, yeah, there we go. There, yeah, to your Niji laser. And then there. And then to your, from the input and or input C, which is your three, three wire input from your Ortur. Okay?